Welcome to the story of Cameo, Elements of Power, brought to you by Rare and Microsoft. Chapter 1. The First Age In the ancient mists of time, the gods conspired to forge a magical tome, called the Whatnot Book, to maintain control over nature and the elements. Within the Whatnot were contained ten elemental warriors, powerful spirit beings whose responsibility it was to safeguard the natural world. And as the world evolved, it was the elemental warriors who caused the clouds to produce rain, made the grasses grow, and urged the forests to persevere. It was also the elemental warriors who created the mountains, which naturally gave rise to meadow and brook, lake and stream. Without the whatnot, the elemental warriors would not have had the power to do any of these beautiful things for the creatures of the land, and their absence was something which no one ever imagined possible. To further the magical power of the whatnot, the gods also created a powerful magic jewel, the element of power. This one-of-a-kind gem contained powerful transformation magic that imbued the holder with the ability to transform into any elemental warrior contained in the whatnot. After transforming, one could manifest all of the elemental warrior's impressive powers and abilities. With their work now complete, the gods commanded the ancient races of the land that if darkness ever threatened to envelop the world, they must seek to combine the power of both the whatnot and the element of power and make use of the elemental warriors therein to save themselves. However, the gods were also all too aware of base mortal greed and didn't want the power to fall into the hands of any one mortal, for this would surely imbalance all they'd created. So to the elves, strong fighters and hardy explorers, the gods gave the Whatnot Book and all the elemental warriors contained inside. To the Sargothans, wise soothsayers who could divine the future, the gods gave the element of power and the knowledge of how to use it. By doing this, they felt assured the people of the land would be forced to work together in a time of need. It was well known that only by working together could these two powerful races combine the artifacts given to them and command the elemental warriors. But unfortunately, the thirst for power corrupts even the purest heart. Greed began to fester in the hearts of both races, who now craved all of the power for themselves and greed led to resentment which led to aggression and finally to all-out war. This was a bloody war, a war for power and domination that lasted for a thousand years, scorched the earth and very nearly destroyed the whole world. Many elves and many Sargothans died as the war made its mark on history. Through generation after generation, both races became so entrenched in their hate and animosity towards one another that they forgot the element of power and the whatnot book only worked when used together. Each race held what the other did not, but this important truth faded from memory and chaos reigned supreme. It was only after the Elves at last reached victory over the Sargothans, appearing to wipe them from the world, that they realized the consequences of their actions. Although they now held the element of power for which they'd fought so dearly, none among them knew how to use it. Making matters worse, the gods retaliated, for they were furious the Elves had dared defy them and claim all of the power for themselves. They unleashed a terrible punishment upon the elves. The elemental warriors were taken from the whatnot and hidden across the land in the form of tiny elemental sprites. These elemental sprites, though still possessing great power, were hidden in remote and dangerous locations. 
and without the whatnot their powers were rendered useless. Now only the bravest adventurers could ever catch the barest glimpse of them. It would take generations of hard work for the elves to recover from their punishment, so they set about retrieving the elemental sprites. Still clearly obsessed with power and consumed by greed, they believed they had no other choice. Desperate to repay the gods for their mistake and determined to reclaim the warriors, the elves began their long search. It was a quest that would be handed down from generation to generation, down through the ages. <laughs>